Direct from South Beach, this is the Live Wire. <laughs> we just got to make sure we look good because yeah. we're, we're here at Esquilita. We made it back from New York, by the way. What a great time we had up there for Gay Pride. Yeah, it was, a, it was so much fun. And if you saw last week's show, you saw how much fun we were having. And I'll uh, out in this show and upcoming ones for more footage because we've got a little bit more to show you. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's great to be here at Esquilita. Love it. I heard the opening was great. You got to make it. It was incredible. You were up in New York. I heard you went to the New York Esquilita. Yep, that was on last week, and we'll show you some more of that, mm -hmm. too. But, yeah. um, you know, even though it's summer here and it's getting really, really steamy, it's not slowing down at all. You'd never know it other than the weather that it's summer here because we've got a lot to show you. Moving right along, what's first? First, we're going to go to the improv. Bud Freeman, who started the improv years and years and years and years ago and is responsible for some of uh, launching some of the careers of some of the biggest in the comic industry, such as Robin Williams. And, mm -hmm. well, you'll hear all about it from Bud. We're going to go there. He's got a place in Mayfair. It's open every day. It's great fun, great food. I highly recommend you go down and see and check out some of the talent they have there. We're going to see Royale and Jeremy, who may be two of the next biggest things. They both appeared in Speed 2. So. I heard they were great, yeah. Yeah, really, really funny. Yeah. So, enjoy. And please put your hands together. Give a nice, warm welcome to Mr. Royale Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Royale. You guys watched Michael Johnson and Donovan Bailey run like not too long ago? I was watching that race, man, and, and they need to come up with stiffer uniform regulations for African-American track stars. They need to make some of these brothers wear two pair shorts. <laughs> now, you see Michael Johnson's brother wears a one-piece lid tongue, penis hanging halfway in your front row? <laughs> now, you want to remove your penis from my front row? <laughs> Now, I've never known my girlfriend to be such a big track fan. She could root her ass off. Come on, Michael Johnson. Come on, Michael Johnson. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Are you rooting for Michael Johnson or are you rooting for Michael Johnson? <laughs> Men don't play that shit. No, can't be no dicks bigger in the house bigger than theirs if they paying rent. Put a piece of cardboard over the bottom half of the screen. All you see is shoulders in my house, y'all. Keep on racing. Look at them shoulders. Look at them shoulders. If you ask me, Michael Johnson didn't win the gold at the Olympics. That was unfair. His dick won the gold. <laughs> dick crossed the finish line about 30 seconds before he crossed it. They should have called it at the wild like they saw it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cruz was it. And Michael Johnson's penis for the gold. And Michael Johnson takes the silver. Wow. He's got to be disappointed with the silver. <laughs> He had to go talk to his dick for the interview afterwards. Ow! <laughs> 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 oh, that was good stuff, wasn't it, kids? Yeah, you're watching Live Wire. Dig it, love it, live it, learn it. It kicks nads, Dad. Ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together. Open your hearts. Give a nice warm improv welcome to Mr. Jeremy Hutt. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy. Thanks a lot. Quit staring at my nose. Good to be here. <laughs> with an elbow stuck to my face. <laughs> Christ, I'm an ugly man, aren't I? <laughs> I see it first thing in the morning, I get up, look at my face in the mirror and just think, fuck. <laughs> Look at me, Jesus. Get a ruler and measure this son of a bitch right there. Got a high forehead all of a sudden. Lately I've been walking around like this, so people don't know it. <laughs> no, I'm not going bald, I'm just real optimistic about everything. I'm getting old, I can't stop it, it's pissing me off. Losing the hair on my head, getting some new hair right above my ass at the back. What the hell kind of trade-off is that? When am I ever gonna use this? <laughs> I must have become a television repairman. I go to a psychiatrist, she hates my guts. She 
says I suffer from delusions of sexual superiority. She just wants to fuck me. Yeah, get in line, lady. I'm in Miami. How are you? Wasn't even a joke there, sir. Look how realistic this guy is. I often look at Miami and see the creases across the sky. Weird stage this is. Oh, you fooled me. I thought it was a window. That's just the shittiest postcard of all time. Miami at night. Run! What were they laughing at back there? I'm still laughing at my nose, the first joke. Was the... Oh, pull the hair. Hi, you guys. How you doing? My goodness. Good. You from Miami, too? Oh, good. Good. What do you do for a living? You're a critic? about the dust thing, all right? What I said? Only about me. Okay, now I'm all scared. Good to have you here anyway. What's your name? Buddy Clark. Yeah, buddy, oh, and no. this is your wife here? Okay. How many years have you been married? 56 years. That's incredible. Okay, yeah, you whenever you're ready, Mr. Hodge. All right, I'm ready. I didn't okay. recognize you without the monocle. Oh, it's here. It's hanging, it's hanging, it's hanging, it's hanging. The gentleman just asked me, he says, uh, how come you uh, spell your name with two Ds, Bud with two Ds? I said, the same reason I have a monocle. I'm very pretentious, ah. but it works. <laughs> Good answer. No, I think. Listen, I got to be honest. You know, I got to be honest. Well, thank you for bringing the improv here. Finally. Well, thank you, it's and thank you while. for your support. Miami's I mean, growing up. We're, we've got an improv now. You've given. Um, Launched a lot of careers. Who are some of the people that you're most proud of? Well, besides yeah, 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 on the stage ever. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield, Stiller Amira, Bette Midler, Lily Tomlin, Robin Williams, Billy Crystal, uh, Jay Leno when he was started with us when he was still at Emerson College, uh, and a few others. Yeah. Well, then you have a right to be pretentious with a yeah, list right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And when's the grand opening? Uh, whenever I can get a lineup of star. Uh. <laughs>